It's not visible to the naked eye, but this genetically engineered dengue mosquito is slightly different than the ordinary species. It's got two different genes to be exact. Released to the environment, it mates with the wild species, but their offspring don't survive. So what we're hoping to achieve through this project, which will take 12 months, is to reduce the population of the wild mosquito here by at least 80%. Um, and we believe, because of the, the models that have been done, that that is more than enough to prevent an epidemic. One million transgenic mosquitoes are being released in the city of Piracicaba in an attempt to fight the disease that has affected almost 1,000 people. Another test run began in 2012 in two small isolated districts in Brazil's northeastern countryside in the city of Juazeiro. This Brazilian geneticist working on the project says the method reduced the mosquito populations by over 90 percent, but acknowledges the technology is still far from being used in big cities where it's most needed. Things need to be improved to go to the big city because, like the delivery way, how you release the mosquitoes in a big city. It's very easy to release in a small uh, village that you can go by car, by motorbike or bicycle, the, the, even walking, is easy. Using the dengue mosquitoes themselves to fight the spread of the disease is a promising possibility brought about by genetic engineering. And while the development of a vaccine holds much promise, healthcare leaders know, for now, traditional methods of controlling the virus transmission remain the most effective ones. In the city of Guarulhos, the Air Force was called in to fight the mosquitoes. The military is helping health inspectors move from house to house to check backyards for breeding sites and larvae. But many people still refuse the inspection. When people don't let us in, it's often because they know there's something wrong. It's hard. You know there's a problem and we can't do anything about it. All it takes for larvae of the dengue mosquito to survive is a little bit of clean water. And there's plenty of that in big tropical cities. Epidemics are recurrent, so the search for new weapons to fight it has to be permanent. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.